On the 29th of April, Vistula University hosted our BRICS conference, attended by the ambassadors of BRICS countries, namely Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. During the conference, we discussed what is the BRICS group, what do they stand for, and what is their unique role representing the perspectives of emerging economies in our contemporary political and economic arena. Our special guests reveal to our students the goals and tasks that can be and are being realized by the BRICS group. Finally, the distinguished ambassadors shared with Vistula students the perspectives of their individual member countries and their future plans for this entity. So first of all, just to introduce ourselves again, we're very happy that you are in Poland. Again, we consider this uh, the golden age of Poland, that uh, Poland is growing faster now than ever before. And we're very happy that you're here at Vistula, because Vistula is making great leaps and bounds right now, that we are very unique in many ways. Number one, we have the strongest, the number one university in Poland for internationalization, if not in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, our quick question is, on behalf of our student body, we wanted to ask you um, if you could give us a few words about your current viewpoint of Poland as being in Poland, as well as what do you see in the future in terms of development with your countries in Poland? Again, from the, the student's viewpoint, what type of cooperations that we can see between you and your countries? If I can I ask is just one question, if we could pass it around. The list, I think, was already for B-R-I-C-S. If we can just ask each ambassador just to so say one or two words. Phrase the question first. Sure. The question is if you could, again, uh, state one uh, sentence about uh, just quickly your viewpoint of, of Poland now and how you see greater cooperation with Poland. Again, the viewpoint is from the student perspective, how we see um, our relationship with Poland and your countries. And if I could start with Brazil. I'm Julian Ventura, the uh, diplomat working at the Embassy of Brazil. I'm the representative uh, of my country here and also the head of the political section. And uh, I think that, you know, what regards your question, I think that Brazil sees Poland as a country that is more and more important, not only in the European Union, but also in global relations. and. Uh, it's developing very fast, as we all know. And I think that both of our countries are willing to kind of rediscover part of the uh, important relations that we had maybe in, in the past, linked mainly by migration. Brazil has the second largest diaspora, or the second largest Polish diaspora in the world, only after the United States. And, but it was an old migration. and. Uh, during many decades, these uh, links between our countries were kind of feeble, but now we are trying to foster them again. And in all areas of cooperation, trade, political, uh, education also, with Brazilian students coming here and Polish researchers co going to Brazil. And so we are willing for that to continue to grow and also the invest direct investment between Polish and Brazilian companies are beginning to happen. So, thank you very much. That's the type of, uh, of answer that we like to hear. Thank you so much. To have normal relations with Poland when the Polish side is ready for that, hopefully it will happen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Ajay Bissari, Ambassador of uh, India and Poland. And uh, we in India uh, see Poland as a star of Europe. We see uh, dramatic transformations here, we see dramatic economic transformations, and we see a huge synergy between the Indian economy and uh, the Polish economy. India, for instance, is moving to a dramatic new phase of growth. We have aspirations of growing at 10% uh, GDP growth. We've announced a Make in India program where we're inviting a number of uh, Polish companies. And uh, uh, Poland has recently responded by announcing a Go India program. So, uh, so we see uh, uh, a lot of uh, synergies between our companies, between our peoples, and we hope to take this forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador. Thank you. Yes, I'm also I'm charge the affairs of the Chinese Embassy because my ambassador is back home on holiday. As, uh, as we see, there are a lot of things in common between China and Poland. Uh, one thing in particular is that we're all emerging economies with a, dynam with a dynamism uh, that is marching into, in, into the future. So I think there are a lot of complementary fields that China and Poland can work together in the future. And we see Poland as a very strategic, uh, very important strategic partner in this region. 
And I think within the framework of China, EU, and China, and Central Eastern European countries' cooperation framework, we'll have a lot to do in the future. I'm confident that we will have a broader, uh, very, bro very bright future. Thank you. I'm ambassador from the Republic of South Africa. South Africa sees uh, uh, the relations between Poland and South Africa to be very, very important. And uh, we're going to be escalating our relations, uh, especially the economic relations, cementing them with good political relations, uh, and fortifying them with good uh, people-to-people relations. Uh, the potential that both countries have in terms of uh, holding hands to see prosperity for both countries has not yet been realized. It's just so vast. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.